All right, guys. Well, uh, we're going to do a little uh, unboxing and review and install and, and all that mess. So, uh, this here is the Wolfbox uh, dash cam. Um, I, uh, I watched this from Sea Farmer's video, and, and he got it from... Uh, I uh, think from a guy named David or somebody that he helped and uh, and he seemed to uh, to really like it so so I went ahead and ordered me one and uh, so we're gonna do a little unboxing and uh, and review of it so I've already opened up the box um, guys I just want to start out I was sort of upset with the postal service uh, yes I did order this last minute but. It said it was supposed to be been here Sunday, which is the day before Christmas. Uh, I ordered something here a couple of weeks ago, and it was supposed to be been here Sunday, uh, uh, being the holiday season, and it, it didn't show up. And it's, it came up saying that front door or driveway was inaccessible, and that's a lie. Uh, went up there and complained about it. They didn't really care. Uh, my regular... Uh, mailman he he is top notch he is i mean on top of it and so same thing with this one you're supposed to be here sunday and um same exact thing come up front door driveway unaccessible so uh, i went up there hoping to catch somebody there of course nobody was there I went up there this morning which today's tuesday the day after christmas and by the way i hope everybody had a merry christmas and well they was closed for lunch so oh uh, so i came back home and i was just fixing to walk out the door because on my on my uh, uh on the tracking part it never showed that it was coming back out today so i was just fixing to walk out the door to to go back up there to the post office and my mailman my regular mailman he pulled up and he asked me, he said, hey, was your gate closed? And I told him, no. I said, I was here all day Sunday. And he said, well, I remember you uh, came over here a couple weeks ago. I said, yep. And he said, I was you. He said, I complain. And I told him, I said, I, I, said, I, I intend to. So, but anyway, um, I was planning on picking the load today. And I might still do it. I don't know. I got to get this. I want to get this installed. But, um. Oh, but that pretty much cost me a day. So, but anyway, here's the unboxing. So, Wolf Box uh, dash cam. Let's see here. Yeah. Move this box out of the way. And guys, I ordered the dash cam. I also ordered. I'm assuming this is the the mountain uh, kit to where you can just mount it. It mounts straight to your um to your rear view mirror you can actually take this and like wrap it around your rear view mirror if you want to keep it that way i don't have a rear view mirror in my truck so this right here i don't know if y'all can see that little picture right there but you can actually take your your existing rear view mirror off and slip this right over and it works just the same so you just have nothing but your dash cam up there so we'll get with that one in a minute I also ordered the uh, the hardwire kit uh, for it. I'm going to hardwire it uh, instead of using the cigarette lighter plug. So, we'll get with that in a minute. All right. So, let me get my knife out so we can... Guys, I hope y'all can see this. Seems like it comes pretty well packaged. Let's see. Da, 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 da. See how this thing slides out of here. There we go. Alright. So it just slides out. Set that out of the way. And now what are we looking at? Okay. Has one of them little magnetic uh, covers to it. So just opens up. So 
Take that little styrofoam out. Guys, this is the first time I've ever seen one of these in person. I've seen one on Sea Farmer's video, but first time I've ever seen one in person. So there's your dash cam. Let's see, comes with your cigarette lighter plug. Guys, this thing also has a GPS uh, on it. So that's pretty neat. I don't, I'm trying to figure out how that works. And uh, later on, I do a review of it. But uh, that's pretty neat. These are your little, uh, like little bungee things that you put around the camera. And you can wrap it and put it behind your, uh, your existing rear view mirror. So set that stuff out of the way. Comes with a little cleaning cloth. You can clean the mirror. Some little uh, tabs with 3M tape. That, uh, that way you can run the wire and don't have it hanging all over the place. Let's see what this is. Okay. Guys, alright. This one right here, they make two different ones. They make just the camera itself for the front. Then they also, uh, you have the backup camera. And to my understanding, this backup camera does record. So... So this is an actual so this is an actual dash cam for the rear. Little prying tool. And you got your instructions. So ah. Set this box out of the way. Open up the dash cam part. Alright, hopefully y'all. I'm hoping I'm not getting this upside down, but, um, yep, there's the actual mirror itself, has your plug for your GPS, um, let's see here, I'm assuming that is for, I'm assuming that's going to be for your rear, uh, dash cam, uh, USB, let's see, Yep, I'm thinking that's your USB to plug it in for power. And then, guys, you also got an SD card. So, pull this out. And it comes with a, so you can see it comes with a 32 gigabyte SD card. We'll slide that back in there. And like I said, you take these little straps right here, put them in there, wrap it around your mirror, and you can put it, and it has different adjustments. So you can put it in the last one, that one, that one, whatever, as far as tight as you need to get it. Um, it does have a button right here. I don't know if that's the, I'm assuming that's the power button. Um, so you can um or it may be a button you can hit for like if you need to catch a like a screenshot or something uh, real quick um uh, <clears throat> wolf box drive on always on uh please read the manual or frequently asked frequently asked questions uh before using please format the tf uh card in dash cam before using Please, please use original accessories provided uh, in the package. Please check the functionality of dash cam with its, with its all accessories before installation. Please contact us if you have any questions. And it gives the, um, the email and website. So, comes with a little cover to protect the screen. I'm not going to take it off till I actually get it installed. And same thing, it has like a little cover right here for the lens. And I'm going to keep that on until I get it installed. So, got that. <clears throat> Alright, the mounting bracket. Like I said, guys, you don't have to have the mounting bracket. That's just if you want it. Um, if you have a rear view mirror and you want to keep the rear view mirror on there, then... Uh, you don't really need this. Uh, I ordered because one, I don't have a rear view mirror because uh, I took mine out uh, 
because my CB's in the way. So I'm probably going to have to move my CB a little bit, maybe move it forward or something like that. I don't know. So, so there's the backing, and let's see here. I don't know exactly how this works. I don't want to break anything. I may have to get back for y'all to see about this piece. Like I said, I don't want to break anything, so I'll come back and show you how to mount this part. Or probably on the instructions. So, da -da -da. Loosen all four screws. See, so remove the four tapes behind. Yeah. So, you remove them. And then there should be a screw back there. So, you just take that screw out. And then these should remove. Put your back plate on like that. And then mount the other piece to it. And here's the part that goes to your mirror. So you just slip it on just like you do your regular river mirror. And thing's pretty tight. I'm just wondering how much it's gonna to adjust. Um doesn't really adjust that much I have to see whenever I get this thing on because like I said my CB may still be in the way guys I may have to come up and use something else um, instead of using this in my seat because I, I like my CB the way it is so if this is uh, doesn't uh, still in the way then what I may do is y'all have seen my ram mount and so i may uh do it with the ram mount and then like i like you would your phone just uh squeeze it open stick it in there and then hold it that should do everything i don't know i just have to see but all right then you got your hard wiring kit Alright, this looks like it wires up just like the Rove uh, dash cam that I have. You got... You undo these twist ties. Alright. So yeah, you just take this... That'll be for your ground. Then this one should be for uh, you find a place to put it uh, in one of your fuse uh, things. The uh, let's see here. You'll probably have to find you a, an empty spot that has power going to it that doesn't have a fuse. Like say if you're if it has a uh, like a section you fuse box for a rear uh, defrost or something like that, but you don't have a rear defrost, then you can plug it in there. I know on the Rove, which I really like the hard wire kit, it actually has, you actually take this piece, plug it in, and it has a place for two fuses. It has a few, place for a fuse for the actual hard wire kit, and then it has a place uh, to put the fuse that you actually replace this with. Um... So I, I like that setup better. I, re, I really don't like this one because if if you don't have a, a spare uh, opening that has power running to it, then this is really no good. So 
Uh, in that case, you may have to cut the wire and then wire it to a height, something like that. So this will be the height always, and then this will be uh, whenever you turn the key on, if you want to wire it that way. Like I said, this is the ground. Um, that's about the only thing I see so far that I really don't like about it is uh, is where you put your fuses. Like I said, on the road, you got you can you got a place where you can put the fuse for the actual hardwire kit for the dash cam, and then you got another section where you can put the fuse for uh, the one that you replaced. So because the way this setup is is if you take a fuse out, then you can't replace that fuse. So. Um, I don't know exactly how that would work. I don't know if this one, uh, guys, I don't know. Uh, it may do the, it may be set up to where you can, uh, whenever you put the fuse in, this uh, basically supplies power back to what you was doing and, and has enough amperage in here to, um, to sustain what you was replacing plus the dash cam. It may be like that. I don't know. Guys, if you've uh, if you've ever installed one of these, uh, let me know. Uh, leave it in the comment. So, anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, so, dash cam itself. Um, you got your mounting bracket right here, and one thing, guys. Let me look again. Yeah. Okay. Comes with your screws. At first, I thought they done lost them or didn't send them. So, comes with your screws, one, two, three, four, five. So, they give you an extra screw in there. Um, back here on the back where you mount your base, uh, there should be screws already in there holding this piece on. So, and then, yep. So, you take your hardwire kit and plug it in there. Or, if you want to use this out of the way, the uh, cigarette lighter plug, wait a minute, yeah, alright, this is the dash, the rear dash cam part, so this will plug in, I'm assuming right there, for AVN. Yep, so that plugs in there. Then if you want to plug in your GPS. Guys, I'm sort of curious how this GPS thing works. Uh, I'm going to do some research on that. So it plugs in there. And then if you just want to use just a regular old cigarette lighter plug, don't want to, uh, like I said, the 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 hardwire kit guys this right here you have to buy this separate uh, this comes separate so it does not come included same thing with the mount you have to buy that separate it does not come included the only thing that's included in this is the dash cam itself the rear dash cam uh, the other little things I showed you the little straps uh, the 3m tape to run your wires and a uh, little pry tool uh, and then the cigarette lighter plug so so you don't have to have the the mounting bracket uh, if you already have a rear view mirror and you do not have to have the hardwire kit uh, I just prefer it that way to save a cigarette lighter Whoop. I don't want to break it sure don't want to shatter that screen anyway just plug it in like that Plug your cigarette lighter plug in. It does, looks like it has a little light to you when it's on. And then it has another uh, spot to where you can plug up a USB uh, uh, cord to it. So, all right. Well, that's the unboxing. And um, we're going to see if we can't get this thing installed. All right. All right, guys. I just want to get on here and add uh, one more thing. The... I mounted the uh, this little flat base to the uh, mounting part that goes over your uh, where your rear view mirror we go. Um, guys, I will say this little base right here 
Now this part right here, this part seems real sturdy and strong. But this piece right here, it's just, just be careful not to break it because it, it just seems like some kind of little cheap plastic. Uh, it's just my honest review, guys. And then also, uh, whenever uh, I put the screws in, it almost seems like the screws are a little bit too long um, for this because they're tightened down as tight as I can get them and probably then some. And I don't know if y'all can see. See how it moves there? Watch that screw right there. See how that screw goes up and down? It's almost like the the uh, screws are a little bit too long for it. So other than that, I mean it. I, I mean I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. Um, I just don't know if it'll have any kind of vibration whenever it's going down the road, uh, like you hitting bumps and some of these rough roads that we have. But other than that, um, like I said, uh, it just doesn't seem like it tightens down uh, that much. And then this piece right here, it just seems like some little cheap plastic. So if you if you grabbing it like this and trying to move it, just be because I can feel it right there bending and twisting. So just be careful not to not to break that. No, uh, just to me it just seems like some little cheap plastic. But all right, I just want to get on here and add that. All right, guys. So all right, I got the uh, I put the the mounting bracket in and. Let's see if I can't get this thing. There we go. Let's move it back out. Now you can slip it over your regular. Just take your rear view mirror off. You put this over. Just slip it over like you normally do. And then let's see if y'all can see that. You got a screw right there that you can tighten it down just like you would your your regular rear view mirror. But guys, this right here is not going to work for me. Uh, I'm going to have to use, uh, try to probably come up with my, uh, try to put it on my ram mount. As y'all can see, this is where I keep my, my CB radio. That's where I like it, and that's where it's going to stay. Uh, one, I don't have any other room uh, down on the side of the console to put it. And again, that's just where I like it. I like it on the overhead. So, so that I'm going to have to come up with another solution because my CB radio is not, not going anywhere. Now, if I was to put it like this right here, the then uh, it's going to be in the way. Um, one, I'm gonna have to move. I'm definitely gonna have to move my CB radio back this way. Uh, I know I'm gonna have to do that. I, I kind of figured that whenever I first ordered this. Um, I may move it back turn the bracket around so that way uh, now if you had like like a uh, say like a cobra 29 or something like that then that only has one uh, stud on the side then you might can get away with it tilt the radio back this way and stuff like that uh, mine is a general Lee, uh, so it, it's one of the wider radios uh, so if I turn uh, if I turn the bracket around, then I got these where you got three different sections right here to where you can adjust it. Maybe I can tilt it down more and do it that way. And then and then whenever I move the radio back towards me, towards the back of the cab, then um, it might work. But that right there, this part is up as far as it'll go. The, the the part that's on the windshield now that'll still adjust see like that but see if i do that now i'm i'm getting dash cam of the sky <laughs> i don't want that so in order to get dash cam where i want it it's going to have to be pretty much in that general area um i just don't know i'm gonna have to whenever i start uh installing it and everything i'm gonna have to bring my cb out here and um and maybe see what it'll do. I don't know. But anyway, so we'll get back with y'all here in a minute. All right, guys. So y'all see a while ago that um, I may have to, this this mount may not work. But I'm going to try it. I'm going to go ahead and mount it. And then 
uh, put my CB up there and just see. But anyway, um, them little rubber pieces right there, they're just, uh, they got sticky tape on the back, like little 3M tape. So whenever you take it off, uh, it's probably going to leave a little bit of a mess. As you see, the screw is behind that. So what you do is just take your screwdriver. Just unscrew it. And there's a the screw. And there'll be like a little back plate that just sits down in there. And then this piece right here, it just slides out. Just like that. So I've already got these out. Well, that one will slide out. This one's got that little piece still in there. And just slide that one out. Yeah, still got the screw on that one. Get all this stuff out of the way. There's a screw spin in that one. Try not to lose these things, guys, because they're really, really small. All right. So, let's see here. Make sure I'm going to put this on there right. All right. So that goes like that. Now to slip over. That just slips down in there like that. Take your screws. Just drop them in there. Like I said, guys, I hope this works. If I can move my CB. That way I can use this. If not... Then y'all seen in some of my previous videos, if you haven't, go check it out of the magnetic ram mount. And I'll just put that in there or mount it on the bottom of my CB. I really don't. I may need a smaller screwdriver. That don't feel like it's in there good. Neither does that one. I don't know if it's still turning or what, but. I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna go see if I can't find me a smaller screwdriver, see if I can't tighten that up. That way I can tell whether or not it's just not tightened up or if it's just not holding the screws. Be right back. All right. So I got me a smaller screwdriver. You can tell this one was too wide to get down in there. So I went and got me a small one, tighten them up. So that part, it secures down nice and tight. So I like that. It does, does have a little bow right there. I don't know if y'all can see that moving. But I don't think that'll make any difference. So. Alright. We're going to go see what this will do. We'll be back. Alright guys. So you can see I got my CB. I pulled it back towards the rear of the cab. I got that uh, camera mounted there. Yes. The CB is a little. It can get in the way. Especially if I'm sitting up. But. I can still see it, so that's all that matters. 
uh, forgive the wires that's hanging. Uh, I just, I don't have everything done yet, but um, anyway, I uh, just wanted to get on here and uh, give y'all a quick little review. The, um, I did mount it to the, um, to the regular, uh, where the rear view mirror goes with the mounting bracket. And then I uh, got it right now. I just got it plugged into the cigarette lighter. Um, I am going to uh, read or run it with the hard wire. And uh, I've got the the rear camera plugged in. I don't have it mounted yet, but I'll show you a little bit. So this right here is the front view. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that real well. So you can see my Jeep there. So you can see my Jeep right there in the regular picture well if you look real real close you can see my it's because of the sun or hold on probably because i got it you can also dim this thing guys so hit that touch screen so just hit that you got a plus and minus on each side so if you're driving at night you can dim it if it's messing with your vision all right see you got my Jeep, there's my Tahoe, see, there's my Jeep, there's my Tahoe, there's my tractor over there, there's my tractor. So that's the front view. Alright, so you can do this one of two ways to swap back and forth between the, see if I can do this holding this camera without it falling. Alright, so you can swipe it, and that'll go, you got your front view, you got your rear view, you can swipe it again. You got nothing but your rear view. Let's see if I can pull it, pick this camera up. Yep, yeah, I got it upside down. See, there's my ugly face holding my phone. Let's see, you can adjust that. And then, see if I can set this thing up here. I'm going to show you another little trick that it does. Well, I'll point it. Shoot, guys, I don't know. <laughs> I need an extra set of hands, guys. All right. So that's facing the front. But you can take it and you scroll down. And you can move the camera. That's pretty neat. It won't go side to side. At least I don't think it will. But see, there's the front view, front camera. You can scroll it up, or you can scroll it down. That's pretty neat. Or, the swap back and forth between cameras, either you can swipe, or you can hit this little button with them two little lines. There you got your two views. Hit it again, that's just your rear view. Hit it again, goes back. I haven't figured out all the buttons yet. There's your volume. If you wanted to record your voice, you can turn that off. Um, the lock button, I haven't really figured out yet. I haven't messed with it. Uh, if you want to take a, a real quick uh, like snapshot, hit the camera and save a snapshot. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see him. All right, so right now it's not recording. You can hit the record button, now it's recording. Um, Alright, my settings button and the play button is not working yet. I may... Lock file successful. Unlock file successful. Alright, I got to figure out about them. I have to read the instructions to figure out about the settings and, the, and that little play button right there. So, uh, and then also uh, figure you adjust your times and date and stuff like that in the settings box. So I might have to figure out about that. But anyway, uh, that's mounting. And uh, I think I'm going to be happy with that. Like I said, CB does get in the way just a little bit, but it ain't enough to bother. Uh, one thing I will say about the picture, as far as the camera that's mounted on the back side of it, the... If you look, guys, 
See how the camera is sort of tilted that way just a little bit? Or the, the actual mirror itself? See how it sort of tilted just a little bit? Well, I don't know the... If you look... You can see the front of the truck. Well, see, that's level as far as the camera goes. But the device itself, the mirror part, it just is sort of crooked a little bit. Now see, if I was to straighten it out, now see, that's straight. But see, now it's cutting off a piece of my truck. It's like the camera is not completely lined up level with this. That's that's one downfall that I have to it. Uh, just me looking at it, uh, that's just going to, I think that might irritate me a little bit, uh, being that I see the the uh, mirror part sort of crooked. But maybe I get used to it. Uh, got a button here on the bottom that cuts it off. And then, see, whenever you cut it off, now it's just like a regular rear view mirror. See, you can see my face right there. Cut it back on. Cut the camera back on. But anyway, guys, see, there's my General Lee radio. But um, anyway, um, I am going to, I'm not going to completely end this video yet. Um, I'm going to try to figure out about the settings so that way I can show you how to do that. And then uh, just real quick, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, then I'm going to run the hard wire and I'm also going to mount the rear camera. Um, and, um, no, uh, see how that works out. So hopefully whenever I, the way I want to mount the camera, the, I also want to show you something else real quick. Whenever I mount the camera, the, um, I want it to be where it's still sort of getting a straight shot back. But also, being that I can tilt it like that in here, then uh, then I can adjust it down to where I can see my uh, my fifth wheel whenever I'm hooking up. Uh, all right, let me turn you all back around one more time. All right. So this piece right here is the bracket. It's going to be hard to do this with one hand. All right. So the bracket goes on like that. It's tough to get it on and off because it has them little lips right there. So you're going to pry it off. Just be careful not to break that part. Um, the only thing that I do not like about this is the, let's see here. Now if you was mounting it, like if you was mounting the bracket part on a flat surface, then um like going that way then that would be fine but where i'm gonna mount mine i gotta mount it on a flat surface that way up and down so therefore this is going to be right here and that cord right there is in the way because this right here is right up against that camera there's no room so what i'm gonna do and this is me you can do this if you want to but I'm not telling you to. But I'm just going to take and sort of dremel that out a little bit to where the cord you know, fits in there a little bit better. So that way it's not mashing on that cord and bending it. Because I really don't want to bend that, that cable. Because then you can start getting into pinching wires and, and, um, and pulling wires out and stuff like that. So, But anyway, that's it. The Wolf Box uh, dash cam. And so we'll get back to y'all here in just a little bit. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. They, um, I'm not really going to show anything about running the, installing the hard wire cable. Like I said, all you got to do is, because, I mean, some people may just let their wires hang, which I don't like that. I like my wires to be nice and neat. But um, I'm going to run mine up above the, uh, the headliner down the, the A post right here. And then plug them in uh, somewhere. Uh, same thing with my backup camera. Uh, I got to figure out how to get that wire completely back there. Um, 
because without taking my headliner pretty much completely down I can't really get it uh, past the or in the uh, where the headlight comes out plus if you do that you're gonna pinch the wire the you're gonna take a chance of leaking water getting down inside the cab of the truck so what I'm probably gonna do if I have enough uh, cable is run it over down the A-arm, uh, down the A-arm, A-pillar, down, and then bring it down the side right here. And I got a plug where I got like my coax and other stuff coming up through. Run it through there, then back up the back side of the cab and plug it in if I have enough room. But anyway, I got the rear camera mounted, and as y'all can see, see if I can zoom y'all in a little bit. There we go. So that's uh, facing down uh, the back. Uh, right now, I just got my wire to run right here and uh, run out the back seat and stuff like that. So just to, got it plugged in. So, see, I can zoom. I can uh, scroll it up. That way, I got a better eye on my fifth wheel. So that way, I, got, I can see whenever I'm backing up. Of course, I can scroll down. If I'm pulling a camper, I can scroll up. So that way, I can see the top of the camper. Uh, maybe I'm maybe going under a low clearance or something like that or something that's tight so I can see that and scroll it up and put it about right there and see guys this right here is recording too so if say you don't have anything behind you I mean if you got a camper behind you you're not going to be able to see but uh, or it's not going to be able to see what hits you in the rear but say if um if uh, you're not pulling anything or maybe you're pulling a flatbed uh, trailer or something that way and, and if you're empty then it would see everything but if uh, somebody comes up behind you and rear ends you then now you got it on camera so that's one thing I really like about it um, so alright let me turn around and show y'all real quick where I got it mounted And see, guys, see, I had that little chrome uh, diamond plate right there. I uh, had it mounted uh, back before I started doing RV transport. I had some a couple of fire lights up there because most of y'all know I'm on the fire department. But then I got my light bar above. Remember, I was telling you I was wanting it mounted on a surface flat like that instead of up and down. But that right there is where it is. Yeah, it's it's a little off center but not too bad uh actually i think my light bar is off center but anyway that's where i got it mounted uh may not be the prettiest but uh, oh well it'll work but like i said now i can uh now i got a camera back here backup camera and a recording camera so um but yep guys y'all stay tuned um uh, i'm gonna do another little uh, review on um this box right here i got i got it off amazon um not really gonna do an install but i'll show you uh basically what what wires stuff will go to what but basically you got two red wires they go to the battery you got a ground wire uh basically one of those uh red wires the hot wire goes to these three junction boxes the other uh hot wire goes to these three so the way i got it wired up right now i turn that one on I got my light bar on the front. Cut that now. All right, got the second one. And I got my light bar up there. I also got another light bar right there. Uh, I'm trying to decide whether I want to tie that one in to that light bar or just put it completely on a separate uh, switch. I don't know yet. Uh, I'm thinking about just tying it in so that way I ain't got to run as much wire. Um, and then, guys, what you could do, you could take this uh, camera right here and uh, and you could hard, hard wire it to one of your switches. Uh, so that way you can cut it on and off if you don't want it to stay on all the time. Um, there is, but I am going to get another uh, backup camera. 
and um, it, it's not going to record. It's just going to be strictly backup. And it comes with a it comes with two cameras, um, and then I'm going to take uh, probably I'm just going to hook up one, but I'm going to mount the screen right over there, and then I'm going to mount the other camera right here on the back. Uh, so that way it's pointing down towards my hitch so that way whenever I'm hooking up a bumper pull uh, I can see because being I got a flatbed on uh, I do not uh, have a, a rear camera this truck was wired whenever it had a regular factory bed on it um, another thing let's see if I can get in here and get this wire alright I'm assuming guys Get this wire out of here. I have to go back and look through the instructions. But I'm assuming this red wire right here is for uh, whenever you put it in reverse. It will automatically come on. Um, I am probably not going to do that. Uh, but I'm, but that's what that's for, I believe. So, anyway, um, guys, I don't want to make this too long and uh that way i can go ahead and try to get this posted but um uh, i am going to read through the um uh the instruction manual and uh play around with this thing a little bit and then i will do a review and let you know uh exactly uh what i if i like it um uh, if it's holding up good uh, and all that stuff and then in that review i'll uh, go over the the different buttons and stuff as i learn them uh, especially like the setting button changing the time and all that stuff so Alrighty, well guys i hope y'all uh hope y'all enjoyed that video um um anything i use guys on here i will leave it in the in a link in the description below so if, uh, if y'all want to go check it out um the um i'll also i didn't put it in this video but for the most part let me get y'all out of the sun here for the most part um either most cars and trucks are going to have you're going to have the rear view mirror so you can just use that little strap you don't have to get the the uh, the mounting bracket if you don't want to um but that way you can just you can just take it uh, that camera uh you can take it out and especially if you just and you don't have to have the hardwire kit uh just use your uh your cigarette lighter plug and then uh that way you can take it from one vehicle to the other and uh use it that way they um me personally i'm gonna i'm just gonna keep it in there uh, i'm gonna take my rove uh camera and uh, dash cam of course it just faces toward the front and i'm gonna put it back in the tahoe um the see what else I'm trying to think guys <laughs> um but yeah i'm just gonna keep that in there and then um um I'll leave a link. You can go check out one of my other videos on the Ram Mount, uh, Ram Mount uh, Magnetic Base. Um, so, if you have a setup like mine and you don't have a rear view mirror and you have your CB mounted up top like I do, uh, which that's what I prefer. And um, that way, whenever I'm driving, I'm not having to look down and all that stuff. If I change channels or, or mess with the knobs or something like that, is I can just reach up and, and touch it. Uh, so, that's what I prefer but um go check out that ram mount uh magnetic base and then uh you can get the ram mount uh ram mount um uh, phone holder and just set it in there and uh guys that that base it's going to hold up it i promise you it will not fall uh not unless it's a defect in the in the base itself but because um most of my videos you see um that where you see uh me driving facing forward and then you see me in the background um uh, guys that, that's it's mounted to the side of my cb with that magnetic uh, base and i mean as you can see it doesn't it doesn't shake unless i'm going through some rough roads and um oh uh, and it holds up good it's, it's never uh fail and then plus i use it say like if i'm backing up or hooking up and stuff like that so i use it in that also uh it's easy it's quick um the only thing i do is put your phone in the in the um uh, ram mount holder and then, uh, then just 
snapping on something metal. And the only thing you really have to do is just undo the arm a little bit, loosen it up so that way you can adjust whatever angle uh, that you want. But other than that, uh, yeah. So, guys, I uh, hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. And, uh, and I hope everybody... Um, probably time this video comes out uh, it's probably done uh, probably done past but i hope everybody has a happy new year also um so yeah i'm gonna leave a link uh in the description and then uh if y'all don't mind y'all hit that like share subscribe button it really helps me out it helps my channel grow and uh leave me a comment if you got one of these uh let me know what you think about it that way you're helping me out helping somebody else out uh let me know some um uh, uh, maybe little tips and tricks uh, of the camera that that maybe is not in the instructions or something that I don't know um, but Anyway um, Again, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and we'll get back with y'all on the next one as always y'all be safe Semper Fi